My name is Rajiv Prasad. I'm the uh, Chairman of the Emergency Department at Bayshore Medical Center. In the summer months at Bayshore are increased volume in our emergency department and we see a variety of illnesses and injuries during the summer months. I always see many patients who come in with sunburn, severe sunburn. And, and what happens is, especially in those beginning days of summer, the weather is beautiful outside. People are like, I'm going to lay outside for an hour or so, uh, especially if you're fair skin. And they come in, their whole back is red and painful. I can't stress enough to apply sunscreen or sunblock. At least this SPF of 30 or higher prevent the sunburn from happening in the first place. The other thing that we see a lot at, at Bayshore is people coming in with a variety of heat-related illnesses. Anywhere from heat exhaustion to heat cramps to heat stroke. Now heat exhaustion and heat cramps are milder forms. You can have weakness, fatigue, lightheadedness, your heart rate can be fast, you can feel dehydrated, dry mouth. So these are things that you can prevent. Stay well hydrated. If you're starting to feel these signs or symptoms, even the initial bits of it, stop your activity, get to a shaded area. Cool down, you know, apply water to yourself and fan yourself. Get into an air-conditioned room. Any of those things to get you out of the heat area, cool your body down, and stay hydrated. Now, heat stroke is a completely different spectrum, or it's at the end of the spectrum, I should say where you start losing your mental status. You become confused, you become dazed. If you start having altered mental status or confusion, come to the emergency department right away or, or bring that person in to the emergency department right away. We need to cool them rapidly and, and save their life.